There's big, disturbing, breaking news coming in this morning. 40 Indians in Mosul in Iraq are currently out of range, uncontactable and technically being designated as missing. This is what the Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson has to say. India is neither confirming nor denying whether those 40 people have been abducted by ISIS militants or other terrorists in the war-torn country. Here's what Syed Akbaruddin of the Foreign Office has just said. Well, this is the biggest development so far in India's crisis in Iraq. 40 Indians uncontactable in Mosul, one of the largest cities in the country that has already been overrun by terrorists of the ISIS who are continuing to sweep across the country and take power. They are outside Baghdad as well at this time. Now, the External Affairs Ministry has not categorically confirmed whether this is being seen as an abduction or a kidnapping but there have been reports early this morning international reports as well as a newspaper report here in india that those 40 indians who are currently missing are likely to have been abducted by terrorists and they may even be held hostage remember this is not confirmed at this time the nature of what has happened is not clear at this time but what we do know for sure is that 40 indians disturbingly enough are out of range they are beyond communication at this time, leading to very strong speculation that they may have been kidnapped by terrorists and militants in that country. Well, the BJP's Subramanian Swami has in fact reacted to reports about 40 Indians being kidnapped. He has tweeted the government must send a transport plane to Baghdad accompanied by a squadron of Indian Air Force jet fighters to rescue the Indians. This is Virat Hindustan. Well, the last sentence uh, is his own, but he basically says a plane must be sent to Baghdad accompanied by fighter jets. Well, it's a controversial suggestion coming from a person who is known to make uh, pretty extravagant suggestions, especially on Twitter. But Subramanian Swami basically suggesting that India must intervene militarily to ensure and guarantee the safety and extraction of Indian citizens trapped or abducted in Iraq.